Hello everyone, welcome to Scadia.com. Varicose veins is the topic we are going to discuss today in today's lecture. In this particular topic, we will be talking about the venous anatomy, like the dorsal venous network, ventral venous network, superficial veins of the leg, and obviously we'll be talking about the deep venous network as well. Actually, the, there are superficial veins and there are deep veins as well, which are connected to each other through uh, perforators. And the flow of the blood is from the superficial veins through these perforated to the deep veins. And these, uh, actually, the blood flows from these deep veins to the right atrium of the heart and obviously to the pulmonary circulation and in the lungs for oxygenation. And then uh, after oxygenation in the lungs, this blood is coming back to the heart and then heart delivers uh, this uh, oxygenated blood to a network of arteries to the powerful body and also the coronary circulation as well. So in this particular lecture regarding the varicosities, we'll be talking about the venous anatomy. Uh, in this lecture, we'll be talking about the venous pathophysiology, like um, there are the, the, the causative agents, the pathophysiology of the venous disorder, specifically about the varicose veins, uh, because a venous hypertension is the most common cause of this uh, of this uh, uh, venous uh, venous pathophysiology for the varicose veins, but we'll be talking in detail about the venous hypertension because actually the uh, pressure in the veins is very much less, but uh, valvular incompetency and other factors lead to the process which is called as a venous hypertension. Act, uh, what happens is uh, the pressure in the arteries is more as compared to the pressure in the veins. I'll be discussing in detail in the next lecture, but actually it is the venous hypertension which is responsible for the formation of the venous leg ulcers as well as the varicosities in the lower limb. So we'll be talking about this venous hypertension, the causative agents for the venous hypertension, the mechanism behind this, and obviously the implication of the venous hypertension. Then we would be talking about the classification system because this is a CEAP classification, which is basically the clinical, then etiological, and then obviously the anatomical and then pathological classification of the ulcers. And ultimately, the um, uh, we can say that the, the venous uh, disorders or the varicosities will be talking about the classification. And then all the, uh, the consequences of this uh, classification system, which is being helpful in the diagnosis and the treatment uh, for the that particular very causities in the when we'll be talking about this as well and then we'll be talking about the clinical features of the varicose veins, like the patient will present to you with dilated tortuous veins, sometimes causing throbbing pain, and the pain is increased when um, when the patient is walking particularly. And then obviously we'll be talking about the uh, clinical, like some of the varicosities they can present to, uh, with the skin changes as well, like the telangiectasia or eczema, eczema or the lipodermatosclerosis. We will be talking about all these clinical features of a coast veins in the in our lecture we'll be talking about the diagnosis what are the three what are the diagnostic modalities uh, to diagnose first of all obviously the clinical features then we'll be talking about the history the examination and then what treatment modalities like ultrasonography, venography, contrast venography. We'll be talking about uh, all these treatment modalities to see the competence of the valves, to see the competence of the perforator. Doppler ultrasonography, we'll be talking about the Doppler uh, and the duplex ultrasonography uh, for the diagnosis of the varicose veins. And at the end, we'll be discussing about the treatment modalities of the varicose veins, like what you have to do conservatively for the patient with the varicosities, like the limb elevation, avoidance of the long-standing conditions, and then what are the surgical options, like the ablations or 
uh, stripping of the vein and a belectomy and catheterization as well. We'll be talking in detail about these procedures in our lecture. Uh, plus, there are multiple lectures which are available on our website, which is scardia.com, and you can always go there. You can get access uh, to hundreds of uh, lectures which are present on our website. For the detail uh, lecture, keep watching scardia.com. Thanks a lot for being with me.